2024. Do you feel poor in Korea? Hmm. Oh. It was very strange feeling when we arrived in Korea because uh, when we were children, we always uh, imagined Korea as a very, very poor and cheap country because sure. we lived in, uh, never in Seoul, we lived in Jolanamdo in a very remote uh, village. So everything was more uh, cheap, even the restaurant, and we were in the family context. But after this trip, I really felt uh, poor. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sean. In this video, I hit the streets of Seoul asking foreigners living here and traveling here, do you feel poor in Seoul in 2024? We talked about cost of living, saving money, and we compared what it's like here in Seoul to their home countries. Also, if you're currently studying English, I recently released my course, 미국인 전의 여행 마스터. If you're planning to travel this or next year, this is the perfect course to upgrade your English so you feel confident ordering in a cafe, talking to the immigration officer at the airport, ordering in restaurants, and so on. Click the link down below to watch a free sample lesson. Without further ado, let's begin the video. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Eddie and I'm from Venezuela. Are you living in Korea? Yeah, I've been living here for two years. I work here as a model. 2024, do you feel poor in Korea? Korea is pretty affordable. Of course, food here is more expensive than in other countries like mine. But the thing is here also salaries are higher. But the, the inflation is a problem, but I don't really see the inflation. Like last year was crazy because mm -hmm. you see like Kimpa was like 2,000 and then next week was 3,000 and then 4,000. <laughs> and I felt like I was in Venezuela back again. I was like, what's going on here? I'm in Venezuela. Monopoly money. But right now it's, it's stable. It's stable. Feel that? Yeah, right now I feel it's stable. Look, I know a lot about inflation. I'm from Venezuela. Prices are not soaring up like before. I think it's okay. It's not It's not that bad right now. So I think it's affordable, but because I'm single. Mm -hmm. I live alone, I'm single, and I live in a studio, so it's okay. But for a family, it would be impossible. Like having children here, I understand why people don't have children. Like how can you afford like all this stuff? It's so freaking expensive, I couldn't. If you're alone and if you're single, even I, I think some people here don't even date because they don't, not because they don't want, because they don't have money. So how can you date when you have to spend so much money on dating? Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Hi, Where are you good. from? I am Victoria. I'm from the United States. What brings you to Korea? Just travel, trying new food, shopping, just kind of all the uh, whole experience. All the above. All the above, yeah. Do you feel poor? In Korea? No, if anything, I feel richer. Okay, tell me more. It's a lot less expensive here to eat out, to shop for clothing, transportation. It's like half the price, I would say, compared to the United States. Where, so. where in the U.S.? Minnesota. It's up north. Okay. Yeah. Is, is it particularly expensive in Minnesota? No, I would say it's it's kind of the same as the rest of the country, but like um, I just went shopping for some jeans, which usually would be about a hundred dollars in the U.S. per pair. Yeah. Here, I think I got three pairs for $50, 50 US dollars, so about half. But are they nice? Yeah, they seem nice, okay. yeah. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, I'm uh, Jiyun, and I'm uh, French, but my mom is uh, South Korean. So she was born in Busan, and uh, but I live all my life in France, and now I live like since six months in Korea. How did you get to Korea? What brings you here? My dad is French, my mom is Korean, and all my life, uh, with my two big brothers. I didn't really feel exactly like a French or exactly like a Korean. Sure. So I always had like some question about uh, identity. A mm. few years ago, my brothers and I decided to go on a journey of identity journey from France to Korea by car. So we spent three years uh, on the road uh, crossing Europe, Turkey, Iran, Central Asia, uh, Mongolia, China, until uh, Korea and we settled uh, here in Korea to take back uh, our Korean identity, kind of. So we are, now we are uh, studying uh, Korean language because I think it's part of the identity. It's uh, one of the most important thing for me to feel really uh, Korean. Speaking Korean. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Amazing. Yeah, That's so cool. So you spent three years traveling, moving through many different countries, yeah, right. living there for short periods of time, maybe exactly. some longer, yeah, yeah. eating food, spending money. Do you feel poor in Korea? It was very strange feeling when we arrived in Korea because uh, when we were 
children, we always uh, imagine Korea as a very, very poor and cheap country because sure. we lived in uh, never in Seoul. It was my first time in Seoul this year. We lived in Jolanamdo in a very remote uh, village. So everything was more uh, cheap, even the restaurant, and we were in the family context. So I always thought that France is an expensive country for me and Korea would be like the cheap country. But after this trip, I really felt uh, poor, uh, as you said, like when we arrived in Korea, because it was like so, so expensive, especially about like so many uh, countries, like, uh, I don't know, Iran, for example, one uh, subak, one uh, watermelon, it's like 20 cents mm. each watermelon. And it's even better the taste. So when you arrive in Korea, especially about like the fruits, it's like so expensive. So we were really shocked it was like a uh, Swiss, or even uh, more expensive in some way than France. So it was very uh, struggling for us, especially, you know, when you do this kind of um, travel, you really have like to have a strict budget, not to spend, you know, like, sure, like yeah. your money. It's like not uh, three years of uh, vacation or holidays. When you arrive in Korea, it's like, f the first months I really thought, like with my brother, that we can't settle here in Korea and it would be like, totally impossible for us to live here. Too but, expensive. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But after Gotta get few, that subak. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. So no, nowadays we don't eat like fruit so much, like very few. Uh, in China, for example, it's uh, way less expensive. The price is like so different. In the Chinese market and the Korean market is like uh, day and night. So, but after a few months in Korea and a uh, few months in Seoul, we also discovered like some good uh, place also to buy and yeah. more we speak Korean, more we know Korea, more we discover like some place that we could really spend less money. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Sadia. I'm from New York. All right, New Yorker. Yeah. What brings you to Korea? Uh, I am here to study. I'm at Yonsei University studying business, specifically finance. 2024, you come here. Do you feel poor in Korea? I don't feel poor in Korea. Okay. I feel extremely rich. Okay. New York is so expensive. It's actually mind-blowingly expensive, and I hate living there, but I was born and raised there, so I can't leave. But um, Where in New York? Manhattan? Or? Yeah. Wow. But all of New York. I was born in Queens, but then, you know, I go to school in Manhattan, so I'm always there. But everything's so expensive, so, like, getting food here is, like, like, what I would get in New York would be $15. Here it's, like, 5 so I'm in mm. shock. So I feel rich and it's not normal for me. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name, my Korean name is Uyong and my Russian name is Nastya. I'm from Russia. Last year, I was living here for six or seven months as a university student. And right now I have a working visa, model or dancer visa. Do you feel poor in Korea? Yeah, I feel super poor, okay. like extremely poor. Tell me about that. Why? Because in Russia, I'm I'm not showing up, but my apartment is like two store apartment, like two floor apartment in Russia. And I don't say like I'm not rich in Russia or my parents not rich. We just like casually living in Moscow. Middle class. Yeah, like middle class, strong middle class. So I can afford a lot in Moscow. I can go to a cafe every day, but in Korea, so I spend about one and a half million won here per month. It's extremely low price. I think I need more because I love, I love shopping and I'm not going to expensive shops. But even Honda clothes is super expensive. And dancing classes is extremely expensive here too. Like in Moscow, one dance class could be cost like man one, 10,000. But here dancing class is someone one, 30,000. Is there anything here that's been like particularly expensive? That you're like shocked. Wow, why does it cost this much? For me, expensive is like my gathering with my Korean friends because like I don't drink alcohol, but they do. And then I drink one soda, but I still have to pay like 25,000 because like we all gather. Cut it up, yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. They tell me at the beginning, Eddie, we're going to split equally. And I'm like, okay. So I try to drink as, as many cans of soda as I can because they drink too much. And that is expensive. Like when they go out, they just spend so much money and I don't understand why. Mm. That's probably the only thing that is expensive here. And eating out, I would say it's, it's about half of what I would spend in the U.S. What did so. you eat for dinner last night? 
Last night, I actually <laughs> got pizza. Okay, okay, that's all right. <laughs> Just because I wanted to change it up, I've been eating Korean food the entire time I've been here. Yeah, so. yeah, you gotta need a little bit. I was love, missing uh, home a little yeah. bit, you know. <laughs> and how much was the pizza? What was it? Maybe like 14,000 won, so about. For just you? Ju uh, for me and my boyfriend. We okay. shared it, so that's about you 10 ate, US dollars. You ate together for 14,000 won? Yes. Yes, it was a big pizza, yeah. Which and is you were full and satisfied? Full and satisfied. US dollar right now is just like... It's horrible. Horrible? It's horrible. But compared to the rest of the world, it's still strong. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I'm not... Case in point. This is my first time in Asia, actually. Yeah. So... I think apartment was the biggest shock for me because of the deposit system. Just rent is okay. Like. It could be 500,000 or it could be 1 million if it's super fancy apartment. But deposit, like especially apartment, which is like in Korea, the like a patsy, you can't rent a patsy for low deposit, like 10 or 50 million. You can't. You, can't. Yeah. you need to deposit like one oak, 100 one mil million. 100 million, yeah, 100 million, 100 million, one. million yeah. one. And I don't know who has that money. Yeah. I know that Korean do some like debt in a bank to afford it. But for me, it's crazy. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Hello, I'm Annie and I'm from Pakistan. Cool. Yeah. How long have you been in Korea? It's been almost one and a half year. Yeah. And what are you doing here? I'm a student here at Yonsei University. Oh. I study business, business administration. Speak any Korean? Of course, 한국말 하죠. 다 한국어로 공부해야 되니까. 그럼 오기 전에 공부하기 시작했어요? 아, 약간 조금만 독학했는데, 근데 제가 어학당 1년 동안 다녀가지고. 그래서 1년 동안 이제 말하기랑 고급 한국어 여기 와서 했어요. 짧은 시간에 너무 잘하게 됐네. 아니요 잘하기는요. No. <웃음> 요즘은 이거는 기본적이죠. Do you feel poor? Like I'm funded by the Korean government. I don't feel essentially very poor, but sometimes like when you have to make a purchase or go for housing, sometimes I feel like oh it's inadequate. So. Is there something that's like? kind of shocks you sometimes like why is this thing so expensive uh taxi taxis <laughs> taxis yeah taxis are expensive sometimes uh, especially late times or some odd times when you want to go so yeah sometimes i feel like they're over expensive than they should be yeah compared to pakistan of course of course a lot more expensive than pakistan is there anything here that you're like wow this is things are cheap but this is kind of expensive no, nothing. Honestly. Nothing. So you're going to school here. Uh, did you find a place to live? Yeah, I'm being in the dorms. In the, do the dorm is so cheap too. Oh my God. <laughs> I just remembered for the entire four months or five months that I'm staying here, the dorm is 1500 Rent in New York is 3000 a month on average or probably more. Okay, so 1500 USD for four months. Correct. And one month in New York is, say it again. My friends pay around like 3000 Yikes. Yeah. So. Hey, how's it going? I know you. I know you know me. Well, nice <laughs> I know you know you. me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you again. Yes. Uh, remind me and everyone, where are you from? Uh, my name is Jerry. Uh, I am from Nigeria. K Explorer on YouTube. Check him out. Uh, how long have you been in Korea now? Seven years. Seven years. Mm. Do you feel poor in Korea? I mean, sometimes. You know, even when I was a student, I lived within my means. I'm a scholarship student, by the way, so I was getting like, what, 800,000 won back then? Like in 2017, all through 2021, 20, 22. Per month? Per month, yeah. From okay. the government, 800,000 won. I felt like that was enough. I did not party. I don't drink. I don't know, like, none of that. I stayed in the dorm and I just bought food from. Um, from the convenience store. I eat a lot of rice. I'm a kongi bab guy, you know. Yeah. So kongi bab actually like, you know, went up. I, I remember you know, like, getting kongi bab back then for like, they have different sizes. You have the small one, you have like the medium size, you have the big one, and of course like different brands also having like different prices, but back then in 2017, 2018, it was about like a thousand, if it's expensive, like a thousand two hundred, but now it's like 2,700, like 2,701. That is why I significantly noticed like when it went up, like the mm. price, so it's a shame, but you know, like I try, like I said, I try my best to live within my means, you know, I, I just, I never do like anything crazy, so yeah. Okay. What do you spend most of your money on? Food. Food. Number one, food. Food, because I don't cook, so I eat out all, almost all of the time. Like right now, I eat, a, I spend a lot of money on food and my, like, hanging out with my friends because they go to, like, bars and stuff. And as I told you, then we have to spend money on that. How much money do you need to make per month in Korea to be comfortable? Think Seoul. we've paid the rent. Everything. 
I think I need two and a half or three million more. Like buying food, buying clothes, going out at least once per day. Because when you live in Seoul, you want to go out. You want to go to fancy places, you want to take some pictures. And it's all expensive. And traveling is expensive too. Like I love to go into Yan Yan. And just KTX tickets plus taxi will cost about 100,000 won. Wow, yeah. So just go there and go back. And food there, way expensive than here. Yeah, 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 sure. So going to, for example, Thailand will be cheaper than going and traveling in Korea. Now, I know you've lived here for a year and a half, which is long, but not that long. Exactly. Even in that short time, have you seen Korean prices go up at all? Yeah. The most significant thing was the kyotungbi, the transportation prices. Like it was like pegma, pegwon or something. Pegwon? No, no, pegwon. 100, 100 won or something. But still, like if you commute daily, you can feel there's a significant rise. For sure. Are you able to save money? That's the thing. Mm. That's the thing. I used to live in Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam was so cheap that I would literally only spend like 500 a month. And I was spending a lot because Vietnam is cheap. But uh, here, it's the problem. The contrast is like, I feel like I spend most of my salary. I try to save because I'm very frugal. Yeah. So I try to save some money, always try to save some money. But to be honest, sometimes I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm only saving like 20%. When I came from Vietnam and I came here and I went to a cafe, it was like five dollars for a cafe, for a coffee. I, are you no, no, no. But right now it's just usual. You go to a mm. coffee shop, you spend ten, twelve, and if you're on a date, then you have to spend twenty-five, twenty-six. And I'm used to that right now. But you know that you are like spending. And for Koreans, I just see that they don't care. They just spend, spend, spend. There is a spending culture here that they don't really care about saving. I'm going back to Russia this month and I'm going to save money in Russia because saving money here, I guess it's almost impossible. Maybe just for me, for other people, maybe it's possible if you love to stay home, you will not spend a lot of money here because I hate staying home. I hate being at You're my an extrovert. House. Yeah, I'm super extroverted. So I go out like every morning and I stay outside until the midnight. But if you stay home, you love watching movies, just chilling in your apartment, you're gonna not spend a lot of money. Just gotta buy Netflix. Yeah, just just <laughs> watching Netflix and eating ramen. It's super cheap. Fair enough, cool. But it's easy to make money as well in Korea. Okay, tell me more, what do you mean? I mean, if you're a student, there are a lot of contests. You can earn money through the contests. And also like there are a lot of influencers, influencing networks. You have to make reels and there are a lot of prizes. And Korean government is like quite generous in giving out money for certain, just, you know, play your part and you'll get the money. Really? Yeah. You think it's easier to make money here compared to Pakistan? As a student, yes. As a student, yeah. it's way easy, but only if you know Korean. Like, it's way harder if you only speak English because they expect foreigners to speak Korean and most of the influencer activities, they want you to do it in Korean or either in your native language. So you're okay. saying that the US dollar is actually pretty weak right now. At least what do you mean by that? In the US, yeah. inflation is insane. Talk to me about that. So our housing prices, grocery prices, it's about double right now mm. as it was maybe five years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's most of, at least everyone I know is living pretty paycheck to paycheck. After rent and groceries, we don't have a ton left over. Yeah. So it's just less affordable to live there than it used to be. I want to be comfortable. How much do I need to earn a month in the US? For one person, I would say maybe $5,000 a month. Okay. Yeah. For That's two great. people, probably more like 10,000 a month. Yeah. yeah. How's the cost of living compared to Pakistan? Oh, compared to Pakistan, it's pretty high, pretty high. Like if you see the average income of Pakistani people and Korean people, then you would say it's like five times more. Really? Yeah. But actually, I guess if you earn money in Korea, it's okay for you to live here. If you earn money not in Korea, if you got money from your own country or your pocket money from parents, it's it's not enough. Yeah. But if you have Korean salary, I guess it's enough, even for renting or for going out. Are you enjoying Korea? I'm loving it. I don't. I'm sad to leave tomorrow. Oh. I know. I know. All it's right. been amazing now. People are so friendly. Everyone's willing to try to speak English with me. You know, it's been hard, but I'm trying to learn a couple words. Right on. But yeah, it's been amazing. I love it here. 
Cool. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy this video? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Sean, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.